In this tutorial, we're going to talk about setting up a new template document for any of the document or content types we've set up. So let's go back to our company documents library. And remember, in our library, we work with two different types of documents, accounting documents and expense reports. And I can create a new version or instance of either one right here from this library by using the new button. This is a great way to create new content. If I choose this option, I never have to think about where to save it. Uh, SharePoint's always going to know it belongs in this library and it's going to maintain version history for me. So I can click here to create a new expense report. But you'll see I'm going to start with a blank Word document. And maybe that's not what I want. Maybe here at Acme, we have a specialized Microsoft Excel template that we want anyone to use anytime they're creating a new expense report. Well, no problem. Let me go ahead and clean up the document I just created, and I'll show you how we can associate that very specific template with our expense report content type. So to do this, we're going to need to update the definition of our content types. And remember, that lives in the site settings. So we're going to begin by going to Site Settings, which we can find from our Site Contents page. And here in Site Settings, we're going to go back to where we created our content types, Site Content Types under the Web Designer Galleries section. Now in this case, the content type that we want to update is our expense report. So we'll go ahead and we'll click on our definition for expense report. Now to change the template that a new instance of an expense report should start with, I can click on the advanced settings. Notice when this page loads, I can specify a new template to use. In this case, I want to upload an existing template, and I'll say OK.